I'm Lidi Dula. I work for KMET as Innovative Programs Coordinator. So KMET in partnership with the Massachusetts General Hospital and the Ministry of Health has been implementing the use of uterine balloon tamponade, which most of us know, for uncontrolled PPH as a key component of uh, PPH protocol in Kenya. We've done this for the past nine years. But leveraging on OBGYN societies to combat postpartum hemorrhage, the team has introduced a PPH emergency response. This package integrates clinical and system-based interventions for rapid and effective care bundle approach. This has been done in 12 facilities in Migori County. My objective for today to discuss with you is to increase access to knowledge and skills for health providers through technology platform. This technology platform is known as Thinkific. So Thinkific platform is an online platform that enables uh, professionals log in and learn more of uh, uh, the uh, interventions to manage postpartum hemorrhage. So why did we think of this? This was in 2020 when we started uh, the pilot, training nurses on how to use a bundle approach to manage postpartum hemorrhage. In between, we know COVID pandemics uh, came in, and so we were not able to continue with the training. The mentors were ready to roll out the training, but this was not possible. So with the help of our partners uh, in Massachusetts General Hospital in the USA, we came up with this Thinkific platform. So in this platform, uh, mentors log in, and then they can go through the module. So the modules are in uh, two phases. We have clinical module for management of PPH, and then the non-clinical module. The non-clinical module is very special because it has uh, components that we normally do, but it's not emphasized, or we don't think about it. So I'll briefly just say what we have in the, in the clinical module. In the clinical module, they go through PPH emergency response. They also learn PPH emergency response skills. They also learn how to do simulations and learn how to care for the critically ill patient, who is the mother. When PPH occurs, these women are critically ill. Then in the non-clinical component, they learn about teamwork and communication. We all know that during an emergency, teamwork and communication is very key. They learn about leadership. They learn about network integration, which is very key for our referrals in our small facilities. They also learn about facility readiness, which is a big problem in our facilities. Our facilities are not ready in management <coughs> of an emergency, which is PPH. They also learn data, monitoring, and improving quality in care. They also learn respectful maternity care. So all these courses are in the Thinkific platform. And it is easy, it's accessible. Once they log in, it's on their phone. So they can do it at their own time. And so for Migori County, this really came handy during the uh, COVID uh, uh, season. And most of the providers, we know some of us were affected and some of us had to leave uh, out of uh, duty. So we have mentors who go into the facilities and they choose champions within the facilities who help the other uh, health providers log in the forum and then they, uh, they start the, the, the learning. So in this learning, they have questions, they listen to uh, case scenarios and answer questions, then they get a generated certificate when you finish. The pass mark is 85%. So you attain 85, then at the end of the eight courses, you will 
get a certificate. So the mentors enrolled 250 other health providers. That was between uh, September 2021 to date. And they took them through, and 50 of them have successfully completed. But there were challenges. In Migori County, internet connection is very poor. So that also delays their progression to complete. The other thing was bundles. Uh, bundles were not easily available for some of the providers. And then the pandemic itself, workload, and uh, uh, various things within the facility. So what are we thinking about as KMET to help this? Because it has proved very helpful. And apart from the 12 facilities, the other facility um, health providers were now interested, what is this bundle approach? And what is this thinkific? So we later found out that the other mentors started enrolling the, the other facility members, uh, staffs, who are not within our selection. And so we are saying that technology can be very handy in our medical field during pandemic and during busy times. We know most of the time our staffing is very low, but we can have ongoing uh, trainings and learnings on, on platforms like Thinkific. It is also user-friendly and convenient. And we are recommending that through the nursing council, such platforms should be generated more. And uh, they can also be included in the, in the program for the CPD. So that is something we want to work out as came with the nursing council so that, because that was a, a concern of the providers. We are just doing it for the sake of learning, but we do also want to have our, our CPDs. The other thing that we should look at is that these courses should be offline because of network, so that when you log in, you can easily work offline. So uh, I would say technology is the thing to, the way to go now because the world is moving. And as medics, we have to move with the world. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening. And I would like to acknowledge um, my organization came it. My co-authors, Brenda and Steve. I would also like to acknowledge Migori team. Some of the mentors are here who have done a great work on the bundle approach. I would also like to acknowledge uh, the OBGYN societies. We've worked closely with them. Otherwise, thank you.